Hi Dipti, it's Gwendolyn here. Really great to see your last set of essays. Um, I had a look through your task 2 essay on um, educational alternatives. You did a good job at looking both sides of the um, task response, so you've looked, answered both the questions. Um, the one on what are the alternatives in the education system, and the second question, is traditional education doing more harm than good? I thought you gave some really good ideas for both and great examples to back each of them up. Overall, a good um, essay, very clear and coherent, you had a good range of vocabulary. I think the one thing we need to work on here is reducing your word count down. So you've written 320 words, and I would um, suggest the maximum that you ever write is 275 on the IELTS exam. So let's go ahead and read through it, and I'll give you some suggestions on the grammar and the sentence structure, and also some feedback on maybe where we can reduce down some of the word count. Okay, let's start. It is often argued that traditional, that the, had your article there, that the traditional way of school education is old fashioned and needs to be changed. I believe that, I believe that, we don't need as there, I believe that this current educational system has more demerits and benefits. And I would combine these two sentences and the way to do that would be add the conjunction and in between here. And, and then no full stop, lowercase s, and some other possible substitutes, plural, because we're going to talk about more than one substitute, should be searched. This essay will look at this issue using, using examples to demonstrate and prove um, this point of view. So add the word this in between here, this point of view. Good, good introduction there. To begin with, the traditional education system is mainly based on producing the workforce suitable for today's job market. Okay, I think there's a way we can make this a little more clear and a little more coherent in terms of a normal phrasing for um, the English language. So I would say to begin with, the traditional education system is mainly based on, uh, I would say, preparing uh, individuals for today's job market. So we can reduce a little bit of the word count there. And preparing is a little more accurate than producing in terms of a vocabulary word. This is true in the context that academic importance to the subjects like science and mass are given more. I, I, importance, we've used weight, importance, importance there. Maybe you could use the word weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, which works in this particular context. So you could say science and math are given more weight compared to subjects like arts and other humanitarian subjects. Watch your double full stop there. This typical education system actually neg neglects the extraordinary talents present in each and every individual, each and every student. For example, that would be a lowercase e and then a comma. Studies have proven that every child has certain suitable aptitudes. So that's plural aptitudes like music, painting, sports, or special skills. To do a full stop here, we don't need to do and so on. Helps reduce your word count down as well. Makes your writing a little more um, clear and concise. This kind of old system of education, in fact, that's two words, prohibits the growth of these talents as they are not suitable for um, the, at your article there, the competitive job market. However, comma, I believe that alternative forms, plural, we're talking about more than one form of education, alternative forms of education, educational, AL systems, again, more than one, S, needs to be developed to, instead of that can, to nourish the aptitude of children. This is because if no, the other, if children are allowed to grow according to their quality, I'm not sure about that word there, to grow to their quality, they can become better productive members, plural, than us of, of, we don't need the article, the other, of society. Um, maybe according to their natural talents, I think would be a better phrase there than quality, allowed to grow according to their natural talents. I think, you know, 
Try to keep to one idea per paragraph, and you're quite over the word count, so I would just take out this sentence here. For instance, comma, a survey conducted by the U.S. Department of Psychiatry. So that would all be capitalized because it's all a proper noun, so the D in department would be capitalized as well as the P in psychiatry. Among various adults concluded that job satisfaction scores, plural, were, change your past tense form, comfortably higher among those whose, H-O-S-E, whose chosen, know the career path, was according to their talent. Therefore, it is it is viral. I'm not sure about the word viral there. It is viral that substitute a present system. I would say, therefore, it is necessary that the present system. Uh, I would say maybe therefore it is necessary um, that alternative systems nurture. Um, an individual's inherent qualities rather than just implementing the tedious curriculum. <clears throat> so a few changes there that I would suggest. In conclusion, comma, as the traditional system of education has has its HAS, different pronoun, its ITS, its own disadvantages, comma, a solution in the form of contemporary educational systems, plural, needs to be sought. In the future, comma, I believe that the demand, that's your article there, of this type of newer educational system will definitely increase. Good, Dipti. I think you did a great job with the task response here. Just need to work a little bit on some of the grammar and the sentence structure and could work on reducing that word count down a bit. I think I gave you some suggestions, but I think there could be more in there. And one thing is in your task one, your P1 and your P2, try to keep to just one idea per paragraph, okay? Um, for instance here, you kind of put uh, maybe one or two more sentences here than need be. Okay, let's go ahead and look at your task one. Okay, Dipti, just pause to read your task one. I think you had the right idea here in terms of the task response. You did a good job of comparing and contrasting the data. Um, but I think some of the language could be improved upon, so let's go ahead and read through it. The pie chart compares the annual expenditure, and I would add the number here, of three, instead of the regional council, of three regional councils, plural, in the UK, so the UK is capital U and capital K, namely Yorkshire, Derbyshire, and Lancashire, over six. Uh, six, so any numbers under 10 should be written out as words, so that'd be S-I-X, different areas in the year 2014. Overall, it can be seen that education was the area where maximum expenditure was done. It's not the right word here. You could see was um, spent, um, was invested. Um, either of those words were going to give you a higher level um, lexical resource and done and also the done is quite the right word here. I would just go with invested so where the maximum expenditure was invested uh, in Yorkshire and Lancashire councils comma while Derbyshire spent its largest amount uh, on the at article there, leisure department. Be consistent on your capitalization so either keep it lowercase or capitalized. I think it would suggest here it's lowercase, so also lowercase that e there. To begin, the annual expenditure by Yorkshire and Lancashire were fairly similar. So we don't know what the expenditure was, we know what the proportion that they spent their money on. So I would say to begin, um, I would say the annual proportion of the expenditure by Yorkshire and Lancashire councillors were fairly similar um, with, and then combine these two sentences with Yorkshire um, spending uh, with Yorkshire spending one third on education, followed by one fourth on uh, leisure, no s, comma, while the shares for Lancashire expenditure among these utilities were roughly equal, 33% each. 
Good. Good phrasing in there and a great way to compare and contrast the data there, Dipti. The remaining proportion of expenditure in both the councils, plural, uh, was in community care, social service, environment, and other. The, we've used expenditure here just in the last one, the, um, maybe you could use expenses, the expenses on environment was uh, the least with around 10 to 15 percent in each of the two regions, plural with an S. In contrast, the annual budget spent by Derbyshire Council on these six, and again, lower, um, write out the word, S-I-X, areas was was a little different from the previous two. The maximum, I would say the main, maximum is not quite the word, right word here, the main proportion of its expenditure went to, so we have to go past tense and not go, so went to leisure activities at, and I think you meant 40% there instead of, yeah, looking at the keyboard, I think it was meant to be a percentage sign followed by education at 25%. Uh, social service expenditures was the least with a figure of with a figure of roughly 2 percentage. 2 percent. No AG there. Good, I thought great way to compare and contrast. I would have liked to have seen a conclusion to that. Uh, Islet's task one, remember conclusion is always useful. It's kind of just a paraphrasing of what you put in the front. Um, you know, maybe just something as simple. In conclusion, it can be seen that the three councils spent roughly the same amount of money over the course of the year in 2014. Something as simple as that. Um, it is quite a necessary, um, a necessary sentence to add at the end of your task one. All right, Dipti, um, as you might be aware, we've now come to the end of the course. Um, you've done really well in terms of improving, um, but I want to see you improve a little bit more. So what I would like to do, Dipti, is to give you um, two free essay checks. Um, so those are two additional task ones and task twos that I will give you um, for you to practice and hopefully make sure that you reach that um, 7.5 that you're aiming for to register with the general um, GMC. I can't remember if you told me when your exam was. Um, I don't have that in my notes, but I did know that you were, you were aiming for a little bit higher than the 7.0. Um, so I think, you know, I really want to give you some extra practice just to ensure we get you up to that 7.0. Um, so what I would like you to do is go ahead and add any mistakes here to your error list, correct these two essays with the suggestions given, and go ahead and write the next set of essays and get those back to me so that I can check them. All right, Dipti, um, great work. Keep it up, and I look forward to seeing your last two essays soon. Okay, bye for now.